This example says that find the quotient and remainder if the first polynomial is divided by the second. The first polynomial is 2x cubed plus 4x minus 5. The second one is x minus 3. We want to find out the quotient and remainder if the first one is divided by the second one. Here look. The exponent for the first one, the highest one is 3, then it goes to 1. And here the exponent for p of x is just 1. Uh. So when you do the division, x squared is missed. You want to put x squared right here. 0 times x squared is 0. So you want this one has a, posi uh, has a spot for x squared. Okay, so 2x cubed plus 0x squared plus 4x. And then you can see it's in descending order. 3, 2, 1, and then negative 5 as a constant. Divide the x minus 3, that's our p of x, you put right here. So, let's do this one by long division. The long division, the goal is to eliminate the highest one. Here is 2x cubed, here is x, so what we need is 2x squared. 2x squared times x, the exponent 1 plus 2, you have a 3, so 2x cubed. And then 2x squared minus 3 times 2x, 2x squared times negative 3, you have a negative 6x squared. Okay, 2 times 3, negative, is negative 6 squared. You want to use this polynomial minus the one downstairs. So you put minus for this one, switch the sign because minus minus is plus. Now here is positive 2x cubed, here is negative 2x cubed, they cancel each other. And here is positive 6 squared, here is 0. So together is positive 6 squared. Take this 4x down, then our goal is to eliminate 6x squared, the highest one, highest term here. We have x here, so what we need is 6x times x, because here the exponent is 1, 1 plus this exponent, you have a 2. Okay, so 6x times x is 6x squared. And then 6x times negative 3, you have a negative six, uh, 18x. Okay, 3 times 6 is 18. Negative, positive is negative. And we have x, that goes with 6, so you put right here. And then minus, here is minus, here will be plus. Positive, negative, 6x squared cancel each other. 4x positive, positive 18x, together is 22x. Now then we move this negative 5 down here. And then again we need to eliminate 2x. Here is x, here is 22x, so apparently we need 22. 22 times x is 22x. 22 times negative, two, uh, negative 3, so we get negative 66. Okay, and then we can see 
upstairs 22x minus 5 minus downstairs you switch the sign negative 22x and then positive 66 positive 22x negative 22x cancel each other and here positive 66 plus negative 5 you have a 61 and this is the remainder okay now we know this big expression can be written as this big expression is right here yeah by the division algorithm for polynomials we know this big one big polynomial can be written as x minus 3 times the quotient plus 61 okay okay now here we call this algorithms long division let's look at the syn set synthetic division synthetic division is faster we have a 2 4 negative 5 again x squared is missing so you want to put 0 here that would be 2 0 4 negative 5 okay you only take the coefficients you don't take the x now here is minus 3 you want to put positive 3 here okay how the synthetic division is going to work take negative 2 down okay and then you have a 2 3 times 2 equals 6 put right here and then 0 plus 6 you put right here so 3 times 6 put down below 4 so 3 times 6 is 16, 18 right here okay and then 4 plus 18 you put down here that's 22 again all the time three times the number down the last row you have 66 put the answer here or is plus negative 5 plus 66 we get 61 61 is the 61 right here that's the remainder okay that's the remainder and uh, this part will be quotient you see 2x squared plus 6x plus 22 so this way is much more efficient okay anyway what we get here is here is the remainder you, you see remainder is here is here and is also here okay and the quotient is here you put right here is also here divisor x minus 3 remember you put positive 3 here okay and here is x minus 3 okay from here we can see here was f of x uh, right here that was f of x so we know f of x is this one x minus 3 times 2x squared plus 6x plus 22 so x minus 3 times q of x this way is quotient so denoted by q of x okay and then plus 61 61 is the remainder yeah this is the uh, algorithm division algorithm for polynomials 
那